I've made well over $13 million in cash collected in the last two and a half years or, or 28 months or so. And that would have never been possible if I never learned this one lesson. That is, you never start a business because someone told you that you should start a business because it's a great opportunity, okay? And the way that I learned this is because my first time ever making $10,000 a month only came after I made the decision to stop selling what I was being told to sell. Let me explain. Just like you guys, or at least most people in today's uh, day and age, are learning to build companies from courses, okay? So you may get a course on how to do dropshipping, you may get a course on how to do copywriting, you may get a course on how to do AI, you may do get a course on a lot of the things, right? And that was me. From 2018 to 2020, I was buying courses. I did Consulting Accelerator by Sam Ovens. I did Agency uh, Navigator or you know the course from Iman Gadzi. I did uh, Sales Process.io by Nick Cosman. And I did acquire skills, I did get, you know, I did get smart, but I was still incapable of making more than $10,000 a month, okay? My first ever business was, hey, let me launch an advertising agency, let me go after coaches and consultants. And even then, I spent six months after quitting my job only to get one client. I quit my job in 2020, June 2020. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Quit a $2,000 a month job. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. And then I started doing outreach, going after these coaches and consultants. And what I realized is these people weren't seeing the value in what I was selling. Uh, even when I did sell that person, my first client, he was like, hey, I don't have any more money or I don't want to give you more money for ads, so you're going to have to give me clients. And uh, what I decided to do was I decided to use vir virtual assistants to do outreach for him on LinkedIn, okay? But after I did that, I decided that, hey, I'm not going to go after coaches anymore. Instead, I want to sell something that I know I can sell. And the, the only way that I could find the thing that I, I could have a guarantee that I would be able to sell was solving a pain that I myself would be willing to pay money for. And that pain was appointment setting, doing outreach. Most entrepreneurs are not disciplined enough to do outreach themselves. So I was like, you know what? I already know how to do outreach. I have an information ed I have an information kind of like edge. I know something that a lot of people don't know, which is how do you leverage VAs from the Philippines? How do you then build an outbound campaign? Because I learned it from Nick Cosman in salesprocess.io. Then I also learned, uh, you know, copywriting from uh, Sam Ovens and a lot of these things, right? So I put together this new offer, which was solving a pain that I knew was in demand. So I started with a pain. I did not start with, oh, I want to make money. I started with something that I could clearly identify. I could bet a million dollars that people would be willing to pay money for it. But the insight was that it was cheap. It was affordable. So I started with a pain and I delivered. The value proposition was aligned in a way that I knew that people would want it because it was a solution to a painful problem and it was affordable. I launched that offer in November, December of 2020, end of 2020. January of 2021, I made my first $10,000 a month. Three months later, I was making 30 grand a month. And today, I wanna show you guys a client who followed that same exact playbook to build a multiple six-figure company. And now they're leveraging AI in their fulfillment. Um, this is a client who uh, when I heard his story, I was like, this is so good because it shows you how to build a proper company that is where you make it unreasonable for you not to be successful. And I want to show you guys this video because this is the type of stuff that unfortunately there is no playbook to building a successful company other than the fact that you have to start with the gap. You have to start with a market inefficiency. It is the only way you can guarantee that you become successful. If you build a business because Surge said, oh, you should start building and releasing AI, that is the wrong thing. If you build a company because this other person said, oh, you should become a systems integrator or you should become a copywriter, no. There is no, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. You need to start with the market inefficiency, something that people are willing to pay money to avoid.
and every single company that we've ever uh, ever since 2021 building my first uh, company where you know I made my first 10k per month and made over multiple six figures a year it has given me the ability to never fail even if my company that I'm running today stopped working I literally could go into any industry I could go into the industry where we build stairs I could go into an industry where you do like uh, tables I don't really care because I can go into any market and understand and find gaps find inefficiencies and be like, hey guys, I can do it for cheap. I can afford, uh, I can allow you guys to bridge this gap and do it at a discount. Are you guys willing to pay? And people are always willing to pay. If you think that people don't have money, you're, 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 you're confused. People spend money. The United States is always spending more money than they make. I think they bring in over $26 trillion every single year in contribution, literally in gross income and they spend more than they make. Imagine a country that spends 26 trillion and then some. Trust me, there is money to be made, but it's just that you are not, you haven't been taught how to, how to figure out the right thing, the right inefficiency. So check out the story and um, yeah, find it helpful. But I thought this would be a great uh, material for me to share with you guys because it's super sick, I love it, but uh, enjoy. Have a beautiful day and then apply below if you want to work with us or join masterclass and learn how we are building and releasing AI solutions and, um, you know, building companies that solve problems through these AI workflows and these AI agents. Love y'all. Bye-bye. I want to invite Ori um, to kind of like talk about his, because if, especially in the coaching space, it is so competitive. And I think hearing this story is going to, for anyone who wants to go after online service businesses, it is going to kind of like help you out. So Ori, you can unmute yourself. All right. Good to see everyone. Um, thanks again, Serge, for giving me the platform just to, you know, tell the story and explain exactly what we did to make some money. I'll also be sharing my screen. Is that fine? Yeah, please. Sweet. All right. So basically, um, January 2024, I joined Client Acquisition at And at the time, we had like a team of eight. I was running an agency, done free agency. We we're targeting coaches. 10 active clients at the month, 10 to 15K a month because we were charging $17.99 in retainers. And the profit margin was literally 20, 28% because we had eight freaking team members. So burnt out, broke. And what we were selling at the time was copywriting, funnels, done for you advertising and all that, all that stuff. And when I joined in January, this screenshot that I have over here, um, or this picture I have over here, someone actually sent it to me because I was jumping on the inside calls literally with no electricity because I live in Nigeria. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, I live in Nigeria and, you know, like it's it's tough out there. And but one thing I was committed to solving was this this problem, because when you come from somewhere in, like Nigeria, even making 1K is a dream. But I didn't want to stop at that point. There were people making, you know, lots more money and charging expensive high ticket. And I wanted to learn how to do that. So learning insights or how to find insights and gaps in the market from client acquisition of IO, I realized that my market was struggling with expensive ads because I was working with coaches. So they would join these programs without actual one-to-one -one help. They would implement the solution as would be expensive, they get burnt out creating content, you know, doing webinars and launches and all that stuff, and they just end up. That's why everyone says coaches are broke. And I remember, like, that was like the popular belief. And I decided, well, that's like the best problem to solve because if everyone is running away from solving this for coaches, then if I solve it, I'm probably going to, you know, make some money. So, taking that knowledge or that insight, we created what we call the CEO funnel to remove all their problems. So we eliminated advertising, content creation, and all the things that were stre was stressing them out in terms of getting them clients. And we built this, we worked with like a team, we partnered with a team to build an AI proprietary software to get leads from LinkedIn. Um, that's why it works with automations and AI, people coming you know, to the funnel, they get educated, commission-based appointment setter, we have a content consultant who consults our clients on, you know, building VSLs for them and they get to, you know, charge a high ticket offer on the back end. So what we're doing is we're eliminating all the excuses because usually when people purchase something big, 
then it's hard to get them to spend, you know, on advertising and all that stuff. But the, I believe we were getting clients because they saw it as like this no brainer offer it, as if, you know, we've solved all the problems for them. And the result of solving this was literally like the first crazy run that I had. Initially, it was like the first one I implemented it, which is in, in this screenshot. We sold it to five clients for 9K. And that was like, you know, a 36K week. Um, I paused immediately because I didn't know how to fulfill on any of it, built some backend systems. And I was like, well, let me try this thing again. Like, let me try my luck again. Launched it again and literally 57K in 15 days. And, you know, kept having other crazy runs like that. But just to explain how it works, this is the software. It sort of like it connects with leads automatically, eliminating the need the need for lead cost, eliminating the need for you know cost per book call and all that stuff. You just have to pay for the software, which like our entire tech stack is just like two fifty dollars a month, cheaper than ads. And implementing this, we went from a team of seven copywriters and twenty eight percent margins to having just one content consultant whose sole job is to write VSLs for our more than 20 active clients. So we didn't need a team of seven people anymore. We have just one. And this person is also a CSM. And you know now we have 75% margins. We also use AI when it comes to these VSLs. That's why one content consultant can literally just service 20 clients. Because what we do is we leverage the pain that coaches will join courses and not get any one-to-one -one attention. And we'll tell them that we would give them the one-to-one -one attention when it comes to building the VSL. So we'll have this one to two hour one-to-one -one calls with them, get the transcript of the call, upload it to ChatGPT using the VSL framework. And that has saved us like 70% of the work. And so the content consultant goes in and refines the process. And so we literally had one of our clients who go have VSL built within three days, launched it, and in one week, got three clients from it. And well, you know, VSLs take months sometimes to build, but um, what we do as well in our own acquisition is to, we, we implement the exact same system. So we get leads for free. When we had 57K in 15 days, our entire cost was literally $300. So profit margin on client acquisition was extremely high. And one thing I just want to like point out is like, one thing I learned strongly from Surge is, how to communicate your offer. Because when I first found Serge, complete, like it was an ad, never knew him before, watched him for three good hours on YouTube. And I was like, damn, I have to work with this guy. And the reason why I wanted to work with him was like, I was actually scared at how much influence he had on me within just like three hours. And I was like, well, I need to learn how to do exactly what he just did to me. And when you master something like that, you don't even need a lot of views, which eliminates the need for virality. Like it's like you're playing a different game from, for, from everybody else because we in total have just had like 400 views over time on our VSL and we do 50K months consistently for the past seven months now. So um, that's, that's mainly what we do here. Uh, open for questions. Yeah. Sick. Uh, one other thing, uh, just so we don't kind of like stretch this out like crazy. I want to share kind of like a frame that you, you might've shared, but like it changed everything. Um, what Ori did is he looked at the coaching market, right? Everybody selling to coaches, consultants is going broke because they are literally don't want to buy anything. Right. But Ori, instead of looking at it as an issue, he looked at it as an opportunity. He's like, okay, if they don't have money, what if I sold them something that aligns with their mindset of not having money? So as an example, instead of going to a market and being like, hey, we'll give you this funnel, you have to spend money on ads, or it was like, I'm actually going to automate your outbound prospecting with AI. And then the other messaging in the market is, you need to do content, you need to do content, you need to do content, you need to do content. He was like, oh, by the way, you don't even have to do any content. And that to a market that's not willing to spend any money is now making them make sense of spending how much, Ori? What's your average ticket size? Um, 12.5K. How do, how, do, how do you guys explain that? Please tell me that. How many people do you guys know? How many people are selling to coaches and consultants in this, in this call who aren't able to make money? 
or who are struggling to get appointments, sales with, with coaches and consultants. 12K, 12.5K. That is the difference. And when I spent the entire hour explaining the importance of looking at gaps in the market, we had the nerds ask the saying, did I sign up for a mindset? <laughs> did I sign up for a mindset? It is thinking at the end of the day, right? It, it, you have thinking is the most leveraged thing that I can provide you with you guys. Because eventually AI is going to get commoditized. What happens then? You have to be able to think on your feet and see things that most people will not see. And that's why we go for three, four hours talking about this stuff, because this is the stuff that changes your life.